for the next topic here, we have speed, distance, and time graph. So for the first question that we are going to discuss is actually distance time graph. Okay, how do you, how do you actually identify uh, what graph you are doing? It's actually by looking at the y-axis compared to the x-axis. So how do you find the subject stop for a rest in distance time graph? So all you need to do is to identify the horizontal line Okay, from distance, okay, you should get the answer as three hours because uh, the time difference from seventeen to fourteen is three. Find what time the subject reaches his desired destination. Show the answer in AM and PM format. Okay, this is the most common question that they ask surrounding this topic. Okay, all you need to do is to find where its last stop is at which is 21.00 okay this is actually in the 24 hours format and after you run the conversion 21 is actually equivalent to 9 p.m. and question 3 find the total distance travel okay so you're actually not required to calculate the area okay simply look at the distance it's travel okay from 12 to 14 it's actually 30 kilometers and from 17 to 21 is another 30 kilometers okay so the total add up will actually be 60 kilometers and for you to find the average speed simply take the total distance divided by the total time so from 12 to 21 is actually 9 hours difference and the total distance is 60 as calculated in part 3 so your average speed will actually be 6.67 kilometers per hour. And in part five, find the speed of the first two hours of his journey. Okay, for this, all you need to do is to run the gradient formula, where y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, you should get the results as 15 kilometers per hour. Whereby for the next question, this is actually a speed time graph. Okay, so first part, find the deceleration of the last 30 minutes. So same thing, all you need to do is take the speed divided by the time taken. Okay, things to take note is that you look at the speed. The unit over there is actually kilometers per hour and the time we only have minutes. So you're required to run the conversion Okay, change the results that you've gotten into minutes for the time section. So after the calculation, you should get negative 100 kilometers per hour square. Okay, however, if they mention about the acceleration already, when you write the final answer, it should be 100. Okay, you cannot list down the negative inside as the answer. So question two, find the acceleration for the first 70 minutes. So remember to convert the 70 minutes into hours. Okay, the acceleration should be 42.86 kilometers per hour squared. And for you to find the distance travel, simply calculate the area. For me, I you have two options here. Either you convert it into three shapes where they involve two triangles and one rectangle or you can just run the trapezium formula and calculate the answer section 4 convert the speed of 15 kilometers per hour into meter per second so things to take note is from km we change into meter we are required to multiply it by 1000 and to change one hours into second, we need to multiply it by 60. Okay, we change it into minutes and each minute there's 60 seconds. So we need to multiply by another 60 again. So after the calculation, we should get 30.89 meter per second. 